This next patient has long-standing keratoconus and has previously undergone the intact corneal ring segments to stabilize the cornea uh, and improve the overall topography, but then subsequently developed a cataract that uh, I'm removing right now. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of asymmetry of the ring segments that's common in patients that continue to rub their eyes after intacts, although for the most part, intacts has been one of our more successful ways at reducing uh, the eye rubbing that is very common among keratoconus patients. I'm removing the capsule here of the cataract. This is the cortical cleaving hydrodissection where sterile balanced saline solution is injected to separate the lens from the capsule uh, using ultrasonic phacal emulsification here. Relatively uh, uh, soft cataract. Um, so I'm just removing this here with a one-handed uh, technique. It goes pretty well. Patient had nuclear sclerosis and high myopia. And uh, so I'm removing the cataract. This is the nucleus and the epinucleus removed by phacal emulsification. Now I'm going to use the uh, irrigation aspiration setup to remove just the residual lens cortex that resides out in what's called the capsular fornix. Vacuuming this, going for sub-incisional cortex first. The, uh, the remaining cortex helps keep open uh, the capsular bag. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm told I'm a fairly uh, meticulous and aggressive uh, capsule polisher uh, in terms of removing residual lens epithelium, trying to reduce the likelihood of patients developing posterior capsular pacification and needing YAG laser capsulotomy down the road, which tends to occur more commonly in patients that are younger undergoing cataract surgery. So I really like to clean those capsules off to try to reduce the, the uh, at least the timing or, or uh, uh, postpone the timing of, uh, of YAG capsulotomy. Putting in the uh, uh, one-piece columnar plate lens here, which works extremely well in these patients. I tend to not use this lens in patients that might need a uh, DSEC corneal transplant down the road, but for routine cases and cases like this, this is an outstanding uh, implant that uh, gives remarkable clarity and quality of vision and uh, an amazing depth of focus. I was just removing the viscoelastic there, now hydrating the wound, making sure that it's watertight so it doesn't leak. Checking it here with a wex cell. And uh, this patient uh, did remarkably well and on day one was 2020.